Okay, this is part two of God giving you supernatural rest. Prayerfully, my live saved. This is why I don't like, this is exactly why I do not like doing live videos. Um, because it was uh, disconnecting, then reconnecting, and uh, hopefully everything is up. Um, and my phone got kind of overheated. Um, so this is why I don't like doing lives. Um, sitting in my church parking lot. Um, and I'll probably do a part three just so I don't go on too many tangents. Um, but I just want to come on and I want to encourage you guys. And I want to come on and I just want to encourage you and remind you like even in the midst. Like I was just explaining despite me not taking my medication. Despite me not sleeping for 26 hours and then missing my other medication and God has been sustaining me um, just in the presence of, of, of him and the presence of other believers he has just been sustaining me and I thank God for that and I thank God for what he's doing um, and I just want to encourage you um, and, and I was just in there and I wasn't like about to fall asleep but I was in such a deep relaxation you guys know when you're just relaxed and you're just you're aware of kind of what's going on around you but you're just so relaxed and you're just so like and I just felt so like at peace and at rest and just um in bliss just in bliss of just being in the presence of God and I want to come on and I just want to say and I'm sorry, guys, I haven't slept, so my 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 train of thought might go off a little bit. Um, but I just want to say that no matter what your situation looks like and no matter how much you've been praying, I even encourage you to speak in tongues. And I encourage you to speak over that situation. Sometimes what I do... I speak in tongues so the Holy Spirit intercedes for me. I don't know what I'm praying, but I know that whatever it is, I know that the Holy Spirit is interceding on my behalf. And there are times where I just fall asleep when I'm at home and I, I get in get into the practice of praying in tongues before I go to sleep to the point at times that I actually do fall asleep praying in tongues and... I sometimes wake up praying in tongues. Now, I'm single. There's nobody else in my bed but my daughter Sasha, right? And I wonder, someone else was there. They probably would say, uh, do you know, Janae, that you be speaking in tongues when you sleep? I'm pretty sure they would say that. But um, essentially, I want to encourage you to just speak in your heavenly language. And this is something that is available to us all. Um, through the power of the Holy Spirit and just receiving it and and it's not all you know sometimes we think it's this big thing and then you know just uh, practice it by loosening loosening your tongue Holy Spirit we welcome you here hallelujah hallelujah and then as I'm just sitting there praying or before I'm going to sleep I just sit there and I just communicate and I, I might you know just say Thank you, Lord God, for just for, for giving me stamina, for giving me strength, Lord God. Thank you for helping me throughout the day, Lord God. And I just might go off and I might just pray for a family member, for myself, whatever I'm praying. And I might just go, And I know that sounds kind of a little funny if you're like, huh? And if you've never heard of speaking in tongues or glossolalia, if I'm saying it correctly. And essentially it's something before that I always had an issue because it kept getting stuck in my mind like I, I I wasn't able to allow God to just flow without thinking of like how I sound and everything and a lot of people who are like really cerebral or even struggle with anxiety or what other people may think sometimes we get stuck in that and so the Holy Spirit fully frees us from that and we surrender and we just give that to God and um that's how he's able to move and so I just want to encourage you like God is giving you supernatural rest like I know when I'm when it's time for me to go to sleep I know like I'm going to feel fully rested I know that I'm probably going to sleep like 15 hours to catch up on all my sleep debt but 
God, he's moving and he's he's moving and I just I, I just thank you all that that are watching um, and that have been watching my videos for a while and that are being encouraged and I'm telling you you don't have to have it all together like sometimes people look at me and they think that I have all this stuff together and I'm like is that how I really appear like wow God like but it's the Holy Spirit it's God who's really just shining through me and allowing me to even do this on no you know 26 hours I've I've been up straight you know allowing me to be sustained even without my medication and having a dependency on him and I think that's just the beautiful thing when you fully surrender to God and just kind of release and today was just about releasing a lot of things releasing a lot of things and I encourage you that as you continue to release and release and release God is going to give you rest he's going to give you rest and um there was something else I was going to say I know right now they're finishing up the baptisms um and you might be able to hear them shouting and yelling and, and, and excitement. The angels rejoice, you know, whenever um, there's a new uh, a new member in the kingdom. It, it's so exciting. And um, I just want to encourage you guys to stay focused on God. Don't, don't focus on that situation. Yesterday, I literally had to start... In my car, as I was talking to my friend, I literally, all of a sudden, just started going into straight spiritual warfare, praying, speaking in tongues, and I felt such a, like, weight lifted off my shoulders, and I, I can't explain it, and, and one of the things that I also prayed was, Lord God, when I enter my apartment, may, may there be a tangible, tangible, um, May your, may your presence be tangible as I walk into my apartment. May I be able to feel your presence, and, and I was. And so, um, Holy Spirit, we just welcome you, Lord God. And if you're a worshiper like me, just sing along and just... I love this song by um, Carrie Job. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. To be overcome by your presence, to be overcome by your presence whatever it is just release it in in his presence just release it whatever it is whether it's shame whether it's guilt whether it's it's is um fear of 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 the unknown disappointment um lord god we release it in your presence we release it in your presence come overwhelm us with your presence Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Come flood this place and fill the atmosphere. Your glory, God, is what our hearts long for. To be overcome by your presence, Lord. And I don't know if you guys can tell, and I have to do an update soon. There's something going on with my thyroid, and it's kind of affecting my voice, and it's making my voice kind of like go in and out and kind of like shake a little bit. And so, um, they're thinking about removing part of it. However, I know if they tell me, okay, today, you're not supposed to talk or sing. For a period of time after your surgery, I'm going to be like, look, Doc, I'm a worshiper, okay? I sing all day. You probably couldn't pay me a million dollars to just be quiet for a day. Like That would probably be the hardest thing on earth for me to do. But I understand this is my weapon. And I understand, I'm like, God, you've given me this gift. You've given me um, just, just 
it doesn't even have to be about the ability to sing and being in tune because lord knows i'm not always in tune and in pitch but it's about your heart posture worship is about heart posture and there have been so many times that the enemy has tried to take my voice and so um even as i'm talking to you guys now i can see it kind of trying to go out a little bit but lord god i thank you for my voice i thank you lord god for my voice i thank you lord god that it is a weapon i declare and decree lord god that my voice shall be able to uplift whoever that is watching lord god that you would give my voice the strength that you would give my voice the ability to uh, be sustained lord god and i just thank you lord god for every person that is watching lord god i pray that you would give them supernatural rest in the name of jesus god that whatever is surrounding them whatever their heart is um consumed with lord god that you would um just just um i i hear him saying Run to the Father, run to the Father, His arms are wide open, run to the Father. And then I also hear Him saying, Here I come running, running, here I come running, running. And we know that He leaves the 99 for the, for the one. Here he comes running, running. Here he comes running, running. Here he comes running, running. No, I won't look back. No, I won't look back. Here he comes running, running. Here he comes running, running. Here he comes running, running. No, I won't look back. No, I won't look back. Um my god he is more than able he is more than able to do he is more than able and god has shown himself mighty today and so to god be the glory to to god be the glory to perfect it's about my heart posture and i know you guys are singing along with me that know the lyrics and so oh no there goes my my buddy um izzy we was in the youth choir so many years ago but that was like 10 years ago and he actually plays guitar um and sooner or later i will be up on that stage worshiping sooner or later guys um in the right season in the right season um but I, i'm so excited when that time is to come and and it'll be consistent and it'll be sustained um but i just want to come on and i want to encourage you guys to continue to move forward in the things of of god i'm gonna get off here because i don't want to be just kind of sometimes i kind of go on tangents a little bit so i don't want to go on and on and on um and i'm about to get some rest because i am just really sleepy um and well, well I wouldn't say sleepy I'm relaxed in the Lord I'm not sleepy I, I'm alert in this moment but I'm just kind of at peace and at bliss and so um I know that when I rest I will rest well and my sleep shall be sweet 
And so I will catch you guys later. I do have to update you guys on some things. Some things I probably will have to keep a little bit more private due to um, just the type of work that I'm doing right now and different things. And I am a public figure. It's kind of weird saying that, but anybody can find me on the internet. If you know my name, you can find me. And so (laughs) um, I just had to be a little... um, use my discretion in some of the things that I I share in this season Um, but to God be the glory and I'm always willing to share my testimony and I'm always willing to allow you guys to see that like you can do it and you can you don't have to have it all together people think I have it all together and I, I really don't it's God who sustains me it's God that shines his light through me it's God that gives me the words to speak and so I just want to encourage you and I want to tell you that um, it's okay to cast your cares and it's okay to just rest in him because he cares for you. His yoke is easy and his burden is light. I love you all and I will see you in the next video before this gets too long. I'll catch you guys later. Bye!